Welcome to another video in the eTech City How To Series. Today we'll be taking a look at the MSR C600 clamp multimeter. Right off the bat, you'll notice that this meter is different from the other multimeters we have previously shown, with one big difference being the clamp. This clamp can actually be used to measure the AC current of a circuit without having to cut any wires, but we'll get into that a bit later. Some of the other features on this meter include auto-ranging, as well as a button to display the maximum reading of a circuit being measured. There are only two lead jacks, so there's no need to be fiddling around with multiple jacks. Now before you start measuring all of your gizmos in your house, make sure you have the switch turned on to the correct setting. Measuring while the multimeter is on the wrong setting could cause it to malfunction. Also, beware that this multimeter cannot and should not be used to measure voltages higher than 600 volts. Doing so could also cause the device to malfunction and injure you or the user. Now let's start with how to measure DC voltages. Plug the black lead into the jack that says COM. Next, plug the red lead into the other jack, and you're all set. You can leave the leads in their respective jacks for all the functions of this device. Turn the switch to measure DC voltage. We're going to measure this 9 volt battery, so place the red probe on the positive end and the black probe on the negative end. The reading will come up on the display. You can also press the hold button to lock in the reading on the screen, and press it once more to clear the screen. This function works with all other settings on the meter. Now let's try measuring AC voltage. We're going to be measuring this power strip, which is normally around 120 volts. Set the multimeter to the AC voltage setting, and now you're ready to go. Go ahead and insert the probes like so. The reading will show on the display, giving you the voltage of the outlet. Be sure not to touch the metal probes together when sticking them into the socket. You can seriously injure yourself or break the meter. Testing resistance is easy. Simply turn the switch so that it's now measuring ohms. We're going to test the resistance of this resistor. However, you can't test the resistance of an electrical object while it's connected to a power source or a circuit board. You'll have to disconnect the device and remove the component you wish to test, like how we did with the resistor. Also make sure not to measure voltages or currents when the multimeter is in this mode. You might blow a fuse in the meter, which means no more measuring for you. Testing continuity is easy. Simply turn the switch to the diode setting, then press the select button to switch the multimeter's function for continuity. You can test the continuity setting by touching the probes together. If the meter beeps, that means there is almost zero resistance between two points. Here, we'll be testing a fuse to see if it is internally broken. When measuring current, turn the switch over to either amp setting. Most household electronics only go up to 20 amps, so that's what we'll be using today. The great thing about this multimeter is that you don't have to splice the leads into a circuit in order to measure amps. Before you do measure, make sure you separate the cords like so. If you don't, the meter won't give you an accurate reading. Once you're done separating the wires, place the clamp around the wire you want to measure. Try to line up the wire with the marks on the clamp for the best reading possible. Turn the multimeter off and place it in its case when you're finished using it. Store the multimeter in a cool, dry place. That's it for this basic guide on how to use this multimeter. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and be sure to take a look at some of our other products at etechcity.com. Oh,